Hi, happy amazing winter. I feel like my yard is going underappreciated, but there are two kinds of geese, a million kinds of birds, which I cannot identify, and a giant fluffy ass heron who comes and sits in our little lagoon in front of our house every day and looks really fierce and probably scaring the hell out of a lot of amphibians. <laughs> but it's amazing what's happening in this winter wonderland. I am reading such great stuff. Okay, um, I just read an article by a feminist artist who talks about the male gaze and um, I can't help thinking about the guru and his obsession with photography and how there were many times, many, many times throughout my 23 years with him, mostly later when he got, at, at first he was super into watches and watches were like the thing. Everyone had a great watch and then he was into stereos and everyone was into stereos and whatever, we got great stereos. And then um, at some point he got into photography and I never really thought about how it felt, but he took pictures of everyone, but mostly his followers, without ever asking permission. And I've mentioned this before, but it's one of the big symbols for me of how he treated my daughter. And um, he took lots of pictures of me without permission and posted them. And uh, he was entitled to not only my soul and my secrets, but to any um, of my expressions, my creative work, my written work, my work, um, and all images to me of me, he could create and change and edit and make public without ever asking permission to depict me. And that is a very deep um, thing. And. Uh, he took pictures of my daughter and made them public. Um, but wor the worst was when he did so when she was, you know, growing into a young woman, maybe 16, 17 years old. And at one point, um, he made her cry because of a, a long, it's a, that's another long story, but in a public place, she was crying. He took the picture and he posted it publicly um, and uh, there's so many layers here. She hated it, but we gaslighted her because we considered it a privilege that he would take her image and we considered it a way for her to somehow release her inhibitions or something. but. It's like, wow, why do you care about that? So any 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 complaint or feeling that she would have about this not being okay with her didn't matter. And I participated in making it not matter, but he was the king of it not mattering because in that power dynamic, we had to accept whatever he did as somehow divine or um, certainly it didn't, certainly there was no harm in it. And if you yourself felt hurt or violated, it was your problem because you were attached or you were self-centered or you were not seeing the true image. So his depictions of you and his publicizing of them were his entitlement and your liberation. Wow, that's fucked up. Bye. And the, and the feeling that I have right now is like so angry. It's like, get your fucking camera off of me. And I wish I could go back and say that, but I did not have access to that inside me at that moment. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna title this video, delete that fucking picture. <laughs> That's a good one.